This video is sponsored by Arc Cinemas. Find out more in the description below. Hey up, peeps, I am moving with another vloggy type situation. We're walking from Team Reflector Towers back there through the town of Hucknall because our sponsors, Arc Cinema, have uh, put on a The Batman fan event. Um, apparently, there's a Batmobile outside, which is exciting. So, uh, we're going to check that out. Um, hopefully, talk to Mark, the uh, manager of the place. See what he says, and uh, yeah, that's basically that's what it's about. So, see you in a sec. We're all outside having the stuff up. How's it going then? Good, really good. So yeah? Channel. Little vlogging camera. Alright, cool. Good thing. Yeah, really good. Good turnout. Loads of families and you know, kids having photos, it's great. It's pretty a real buzz. Excellent. Batman pajamas. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, it's late. So here we are. Um, initial impressions. Go and see it in the cinema. Go and see it right now. It is so good. Um, it is the bat. Without giving too much away, it's the it, it's. You might have read they're trying to go for a detective story this time, and it is. It's a very slow burn. There's not a lot of action in it. There's an incredible car chase. And, and the fights are quick and kind of dirty and kind of messy. But there's not a lot of superhero y explosion y type stuff. It's, it's a slow burn y kind of detective drama kind of a thing, is, is how I'd say. But, you know, with Batman characters. So, uh, yeah absolutely brilliant but before we carry on we got a goodie bag from the good people at arc cinema and uh everyone who went to the premiere got one of these um i think they were running out of like <laughs> bag bags so this is like a food bag but hey uh, let's see what's inside Ooh! so looks like i've got a poster i'm guessing this is um this will be the main cinema poster i'm guessing let's have a look Oh yes, there we go. So that's going in a frame, uh, probably here in the shed, I don't know. We'll, fi we'll figure that out as we go. Um, and then uh, we've got, oh, that is so cool. Um, so we've got a 3D printed Batarang. Um, I'll put it on your screen in a minute, well, in, in a bit. Loads of postcards. Uh, we've got, oh, I was gonna ask Mark for one of these. Uh, a fan event uh, poster. I was going to ask you for one of these actually because we want to put um, in Operation Fezcam we're going to have an area for um, our cinema and we want to put like frame things like this up just to give people an idea of the kind of thing they do. We've got a uh, Buzz Lightyear obviously in a book and then a load of postcards so um, yeah we've got uh, well you probably see that as Riddler, uh, we've got we've got Battinson himself <laughs> uh, uh, Penguin, or well, oh, well, they call him Ozzy in this film, but uh, Catwoman, sorry, was called him the Peng they call him the Penguin as well, but his friends call him Ozzy in this film, um, or Oz, there's obviously Oz will pop up, but yeah, I, mean, I think we're going to find more about um, the Penguin in a TV series that's coming quite soon, but yeah, um, spoiler free reactions about giving everything away, the Riddler is scary as shit, um, like genuinely creepy scary not jump scare scary but he's just like uh, you know very very good acting acting total force by that guy and he's emoting through a mask for most of the film you know so um, 
And then when you finally find out who it is, um, which isn't really much of a spoiler, obviously it's a detective drama, you're going to find out who done it, right? When you find out who the Riddler is, he's even more kind of, it's still kind of creepy, but it's also kind of pathetic in a way, because he's, um, I don't want to give too much away, but he's, he's, he's got a, a mental health learning difficulties thing, um, which at first I was like, eh, but actually, you know, it's, it's done quite, it's done quite well, to be fair. It's not, it's not done for, oh, you know, therefore he's got a mental health disorder, therefore he's a bad guy, right? You know, like, like films used to be, it, it, it's, it's handled quite well, but quite comic booky still, if that makes sense. You'll know when you see it. But yeah, I wasn't put off by that as a you know CEO of a mental health charity. Um, no, it was fine. Um, I'm willing to be corrected by people who deal with people who've got that condition, but obviously, you know, we're all still learning. But it seemed to be quite respectful. Uh, Penguin, you will not recognise Colin Farrell whatsoever. <laughs> He's absolutely brilliant. Um, doesn't look anything like himself. You know, he's in a lot of prosthetics. Um, he was really good. I'm looking forward to seeing the TV series for that. The Batmobile. Now, I was. Everyone's got, went mad for the Batmobile. I think it's most of my American friends went mad for it because it's like a big American muscle car. It's supposed to be. We're in year three of, of Batman being Batman, right? So his gadgets are still kind of homemade and off the shelf stuff that is modified and all that kind of stuff. And I love that part. And I thought, oh, the Batmobile's not. I like the Batmobile to be, be a bit more comic booky, you know. Even the Tumblr was like, it was really comic booky, but at least they had like a real world explanation for it, you know. This, I wasn't a fan from the photos and the bits you've seen in the trailer, but my God, when you first see it, <laughs> yeah, when, when you first see it in action and the sound design, oh, just, well, the sound design across the board, but the sound design on the Batmobile. It puts the fear of God into you, the noise it makes. It's amazing. Love it. But yeah, the sound design in, 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 it, it was good Every, anyway. Obviously, you've seen that they're using um, the first couple of chords from Nirvana's underneath, you know, um, something in the way. Um, I would say out of everything, the something in the way was a really, really good choice. But they literally play it all the time. It's a three hour long film and that dun, 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 dun. It just does that a lot. And by hour three, it's kind of like, yeah, okay, I've heard it now, play something different, you know? So it, but it's still an incredibly haunting um, piece of music and the Batman appearing to this other piece of music that you've probably seen in the trailers is just, yeah, they w went really down the, the, the avenue of making Batman try to come across as scary and this force of nature and everyone's like oh look at you you freak in a costume and then he just does what he does and it's like the fear in people's eyes when they see that and then as the film goes on people get more and more frightened of him so it's, it's yeah it was good so i would say out of the batman films is it the best ever i don't think it beats dark knight but repeated watching it might but he's the i think I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I can't believe I'm saying this, because when he was first cast, I was like, what? The guy from Twilight? Um, he's the best version of Batman we've seen on screen. And he's the best written version of Batman that we've seen on screen. As in, you know, he's a detective. He, he uses fear as a tool. He's scrappy. He's, he's not like this super ninja guy like, like in Nolan or whatever. You know, he's... He's real, he's more grounded in Nolan, I think, but he's very much Batman, as in Batman from the comics, you know? Um, and it's very refreshing to see. So I'd say he's the best version of Batman we've seen. Uh, the Riddler's like something out of Seven. <laughs> if you've seen the film Seven, it's, it's a bit like that kind of, like very David Fincher-y kind of villain. Is he the Riddler? Well, I mean, he, he's, he's finding his way as the Riddler. But as an enemy, as a as a as a protagonist, antagonist, should I say, he's wonderful. He's definitely not a comic book Riddler, but he's so good. Catwoman Zoe Kravitz, I've not even touched on her. Her chemistry with Robert Pattinson is oh, really good, really believable. Um, she's got really good motivations. Um, 
brilliant mover if it's either her or her stunt team or whatever. The, it's very believable, you know. Again, she's not, like, flying off walls or anything, but she's, you know, she's still life and cat-like in her movements and stuff, so love that. The cinematography, my God, the cinematography's good. Um, the only thing for me, and it's just a me thing, not nothing wrong with the film, is Gotham City is made up of various buildings from around the UK. Now, obviously I'm a drone operator, so I've travelled around a lot of the cities and I know them quite well, especially from the air, because, you know, we do, we're up there doing surveys and stuff, or I'm doing stuff in the films or what have you. So, for me, there was scenes where it's like, oh, that's that building in Liverpool, oh, that's that building in Lincoln, oh, that's that building in... <laughs> You know, a bit like in the Nolan verse, um, Wayne Manor was um, uh, Wilson Hall uh, in Nottingham, which is round the corner from us. So it's kind of that slight. Every now and again, it just pulled me out a little bit. But that's just because I know the buildings really well. But in terms of how they're all meshed together to make Gotham City, it's oh, I mean, it's a great version. It's kind of it's kind of gritty and real, like Nolan. You know, like because they basically shot in I think Chicago, wasn't it? Um, so it's not a it's not a modern city like Chicago, but it's kind of like just this mishmash of different buildings and Gothic architecture and and glass buildings and and all that, and it never ever stops raining, which is probably why they filmed a lot of it in Glasgow because they <laughs> it basically rains constantly over there. But yeah, um, it's just yeah, it's incredible. Go watch it. Go and support your local cinemas. Um, if you're in the Nottingham, well. Arc Cinema has cinemas everywhere, but especially we're based in Nottingham. So if you're in the Nottingham area, Arc Cinema, Hope Knoll, Arc Cinema, Beeston. Um, they've got amazing sound systems in there because they're both really new cinemas. Uh, you know, digital 4K projection screens, all that. So very good experience. Laser Boy recliner chairs. I can't, I can only lift one leg because, as you know, my, my right leg doesn't work anymore. But yeah, it's beautiful. Go and watch it. Go and watch it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I just can't wait to watch it again in streaming because we're going to be busy on Operation First Time so I can't go back to the cinema sadly uh, for a couple of weeks but uh, I'm going to watch it on stream and I'm going to watch the hell out of it it'll be balls and freeze framed and everything um, yeah, highly recommended you know, 9.5 out of 10 you know, no film is perfect but it's um, I'm excited, I'm, I'm infused I had a great time at, at the cinema with fellow bat fans and everything it was a good ex good experience had by all so until next time i've been Moobit, you've been awesome source and we'll see you at the next video which will be an operation fest cam update and oh my god you want to stick around for that get subscribed you are going to flip your lids when i'm when i tell you what we're allowed to tell you now so uh, yeah see you later it's pretty a real buzz excellent is that your fez cam i like to move it move it Bit, bit, bit.